Hey guys, Top of the Jacks the Legend here, and today I'm here with another Minecraft tutorial. And in this week's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make customizable maps. Well, you might be wondering, what is a customizable map? Well, it is a map that you have customized to fit your needs. So that could be whether you want a special logo on it for, like, say, a poster, or you want it to be used as a backsplash or tiled floors or even wallpaper in your Minecraft build. So you can use these maps to get patterns that you can't normally get in Minecraft without using some sort of texture pack. And even then, it'll only look like that for you, not for the other people who are using the regular Minecraft texture pack. So they're super useful. So let's take a look at how you can make one of these. Okay, to start with, you need to make a map. And to make that, you're going to need a compass, eight paper, and a crafting table. So let's start with how you craft paper. You're going to need three sugar cane to craft some paper. Now, I believe you, I believe if you get place three sugar cane in here, you will get three paper, so it's a good deal. And then, if you craft a compass, it's four iron ingots and then one piece of redstone in the center. And then finally, to craft the map, you place the compass in the center, center and the eight pieces of paper around it. And that will get you an empty map. Now, do not click on this map or open it until you're in position. Now you might be wondering, what does in position mean? Well, we need to get into a certain position so we can put the um, pattern on our map. I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is find an area that is far away from everything and won't disrupt any of your builds because you're going to be building a humongous platform. Then once you're in that area, so I'm over here, far away from everything else because my other stuff is over there, you can open your map and it'll open it up. So right now you can see it's got like this green with a few dotty trees and stuff. But that's not really what we want. We want, say, like, a Batman logo or something cool on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly to each corner of the map. We're going to try and be as accurate as possible. So we're going to head this way a little bit more. And then sort of head diagonally there. And once you get to the corner, just like that, you want to press F3 and G. So that is F3 and G, just like that, as you can see in chat. But if you are on your a, um, laptop, you'll see you have a function key. That will look like FN. So you're going to press FN, F3, and then G, all at the same time. So F3G, F3G. So this is to hide it and show it. This will just show the chunk borders. Now that you're there, you want to come to the border of the chunk that you're um, in the corner of the map. So right there, you can see I'm in the chunk border right there and go to the corner, just like that. And then you want to place a few blocks. I suggest placing one there and then coming out a few like this. So you have a three by three area. Remembering that this back corner is the very corner. Now, now, if you open up your map and fly away, you can see the dirt part on your map. And that shows that you're in that corner, because you can see, if you, you can sort of see by the pixels, it is 3x3, three three, which is perfect. Now, you want to do that on every corner, and then you will be on to the next step. Okay, so I'm moving on to my very last corner, which is over here, and I thought I would add in that this, um, this map is 128 by 128 blocks. If that's a bit easier, so you can make one corner, then go 128 that way, 128 that way, and so on. And you can create your square, but this is probably the simplest way and least confusing and probably most accurate. So now that I've got that, it is time to build our platform. Now what we want to do, when you want to build the platform out of our background color, which is whatever we want, it could be blue, purple, pink, or whatever. But we want to build that higher than any of our surroundings. So because I've got that mounting there, I'm going to go to say up this high where you can see I'm clearly above everything else and I won't run into anything, which is definitely really important. Now, I'm not going to do this on camera. I'm going to quickly fly over to one that I've pre-built, but what you want to do is build between all those corners in whatever you color you want, and again, higher than any of your surroundings, so you don't have to break anything down. It is also very easy to do this on the ocean, but it's not needed. Okay, so if I fly over here and come over to my giant purple square, you can see it's higher than any of my surroundings, and then open up my map, you can see, boom, it's all purple, which is exactly what we want, because now we've got a purple map. Now, this can be whatever color you want. Again, it doesn't have to be purple, it doesn't have to be white, anything. And then the best part about this is if you're feeling a bit creative, you can add some patterns to it. So let's go and have a look at those patterns. Okay, so I'm over by my maps, and, well, not by my maps, my giant sections, and you can see I've got a few different designs here. Let's have a look at this wallpaper one here. If I open up the map, you can see the, the, um, the build, and it is pretty, pretty magnificent with all the different colours. Now, you might be wondering, Jax, how did you get those different colours of, um, 
of yellow. Well, I use three different types of yellow blocks, sand, birch, and endstone. Although they don't look super different on the map, they do add in a bit of color difference and a bit of shading to the wallpaper. You might think, wow, this looks so complicated to build. I'm, it's going to spend me, takes me months to design something like this. Well, it really isn't that complicated when you think of it in patterns like this. As you can see, this build is replicated in four quarters. So we have one quarter here, one quarter there, one quarter there, and one quarter there. And they are all the same. However, when you put them together, they look absolutely stunning as we saw on there. So as you can see, they're all in quarters. And then that's, a, that's sort of true for most other ones, except for, say, this brick one here, which is built in a different way, um, with just the bricks being replicated. Now, the way I've done this, I've put two bricks next to each other there, then a brick in the middle, and half a brick on each side, just like that, and I've repeated that all the way down. And that way, and by doing it like this, it matches up super well. And I've done this on all of them, except I've maybe um, duplicated them if, um, if they're smaller, so I've done four bricks here and then three bricks and a half on each side for the ones with the smaller bricks and of course you don't have to use this for say walls um, tiling or anything like that you can use it just for a bit of fun you can put your own logo here or you could even put the logo of your favorite superhero and mine is Batman no 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 Batman and it looks absolutely amazing I really love the way that this outer line of yellow around the edge really makes the logo pop now you might be wondering, Jax, I want to do even more of these, but, that, but does that mean I have to make even more giant templates? I'm running out of blocks. Well, no. You can use these same templates, say if you want a different type of wallpaper or a different type of brick, by simply locking your map. Let me show you how to do that. I'm also just going to quickly undo my triplet edits here to remove that purple line. And then we're going to use this map right here to show you how we can do this. So let's fly over to our wall. Okay, to lock a map, all you have to do is grab your cartography table. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can craft it by using four of any type of wood and two pieces of paper. Then you want to grab out your map, the map you want to lock, and your a piece of glass. Now, remember it had to be a glass pane, a regular glass pane, not colored and not a block. Open up your cartography pl table, place a map at the top section, and then a piece of glass at the bottom, and boom, your map will be locked, and you'll see this little padlock there. Now, if you grab that map, and you open it, it should just look the same. Now when you now if you want to copy this map, all you have to do is chuck your map into the cartography table with an empty map below it, and you'll get two of them. Now you might be wondering, how do I know if it's locked? Well you can check that by flying over to your map. Flying over to your map, or flying over to where your map was, grabbing some sort of block, I'll grab some end stone here, and just placing a few randomly. Now, it probably doesn't have to be this extreme, but I'm just going to really show it and grab out an empty map of some sort. Um, you can, and when I open it, you can see the, the end stone is there. You can clearly see it. However, on your locked map, it's not there because your map is locked and no changes will be made to it, which is pretty insane and super useful. So you can reuse this black spot as many times as you want just by removing the yellow part and then maybe use it for a black wallpaper if you like. Now you might be wondering, Jax, I really like the whole idea of using them for wallpapers, tiles and stuff, but I don't know, really know where to use them, like can I use them in my builds outside? Well, I'm going to fly around to a few of my builds so I can show you where I use them, and maybe give you a bit of inspiration. Okay, so I'm now at the first house. This is a haunted style mansion with a beautiful garden designed by Avermance. Well, the garden was, and then Wild and I designed the house. If you want to see the video for that, make sure to check out the link in the description down below. But the main thing is, inside, we have our amazing maps. We not only have these wallpaper maps that surround the whole entrance room, we also have... Oh, have some stuff in my inventory. We also have some maps on the lighting, which also look amazing. These are super simple, but they really change the light from a boring old piece of glowstone to something magnificent. Other than that, we've got a reasonably normal room with a bit of, with a chair, some tables, and a nice comfortable cushion. You can really see how these maps elevate the room from being just a plain end, end stone room to being something that you've never seen before. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, on our second and final house here, if we head inside, you can see I've used the tile um, map here as the floor in my kitchen and some of the different type of tile as the backdrop here and it really brings a new aspect into this kitchen and makes it look, it makes it look so much better. As well as that, 
If we walk over here through the living room into the small office area, you can see I've used that purple wallpaper to make a feature wall in the office, and I've used the Batman project here to make sure I remember to always be like my favourite superhero, Batman, and become a millionaire and be a, and be a vigilante. So again, this really lights up the room rather than just having plain old jungle wood um, walls. We have a giant purple wall, which looks so great. So now you guys know how to customize your maps and you can do, make your build look super professional with them and make them look super cool and surprise all of your friends. So that's going to be the end of this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment and remember to subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys later. And remember, stay carbonated.